For those who have travelled from New York to London, you'd know that if you're lucky, it would take around seven hours. But what if I told you that soon enough, it could take no longer than 90 minutes? You know, our ultimate goal is high-speed flight for everybody, to make the fastest flight also the most affordable. And so that's what we're going to see happen here. Supersonic flight is going to displace subsonic flight as the best way for everyone to travel over long distances. This is the Boom Overture. It's a passenger flight craft that's due to be available for public use in 2029, and it has the potential to go at 1.7 Mach. Because it's greater than 1 Mach, which is the speed of sound, this makes it a supersonic aircraft. But as impressive as this may be, it has some very strong and even faster competition. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Quarter Horse. This is the Hermius Quarter Horse, created by Atlanta-based startup Hermius, which could be the fastest passenger aircraft ever. To put this into perspective, the fastest engine-powered aircraft is the military spy plane SR-71 Blackbird, which reached a speed of 3.2 Mach. But the Hermes Quarter Horse can potentially reach the hypersonic speed of 5 Mach. That's five times the speed of sound. But here's the problem. Because it travels so much faster than the speed of sound, it would create very loud sonic booms. So loud that it will be near impossible to have it fly over land, which rules out coast-to-coast -coast flights. And that's not the only thing that needs considering. There are several challenges with high-speed flight. Uh, propulsion, you need an engine that can turn on and then stay on at these speeds. It's very difficult to do. Uh, you can think about controls, so you got to make sure these vehicles are pointed in the right direction. And you could think about materials, so you need materials to withstand the heat and lift and drag and the vibrations of these, of these sorts of things. The record for a commercial flight is just over two mark by the Concorde, which traveled regularly from New York to London until its retirement in 2003. At the moment, the quarter horse is too small to carry people, so it's remote controlled. But if the engine gets scaled up to the size of a passenger plane, as Hermius is planning, it could change the landscape of commercial air travel forever. Meaning that soon enough, you could take a day trip to Europe from the US and be home just in time for dinner.